questions on per diem salary approval refusal to answer parliament psc confirmation pop-up and uh, opoku ahini uh, dankwa is the ceo there uh, also commentary dubik muhammad a man with super extra balls uh, is is if you like um, is that what my the hero yeah, is that what it says ah. sounds like a british tabloid super uh, extra uh, super balls. extra balls uh, mm-hmm. nla licenses game park limited threats will not deter africa according to speaker Bagbin on lgbtqi and whether or not they will cut aid daily analyst this morning says um direct finance ministry to release funds to pay caterers otiko jabba tells ekufuado that's a former gender minister and uh, the other time you heard the caterers say that when otiko jabba was at the helm of affairs uh, they never had to complain about monies that mm. were owed them hang Jury for Gregory Afoko, one other sentence to test. Ikufuado demands apology from Al Jazeera on the gold of Mapia Saga over unfair and inaccurate documentary. Maritime Authority Wahala continues as Confucian Rocks meeting at Tema Branch. We will be firm and just in confirming Justice Tokonu, first Deputy Speaker, is assuring us. Well, Felicity is joining us. Please hold on for me, Helen. Good morning, Felicity. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Great. Well, what's the latest with the weather? Yesterday, uh, unexpected rain, I should I should call it, even though you... Hey, are you sure it's unexpected? Uh, yesterday yeah. morning, I told you, yes, you told that me. there is a rainstorm on the way, and uh, we're expecting it in the afternoon. When we are certain, uh, we will but, up, but, update you. And I was, remember the this one came in the, the evening. Forecast, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> so the rain, the rain beats some people, pa. Uh, uh, yes, it was not only for Accra, it mm. was most, most portions over the southern sector. Uh, it was the rain that moved all the way from Cameroon to mm. Nigeria, Benin, Togo, and Ghana. Currently, it's been to Cote d'Ivoire, moving into Liberia. And the much portion is have shifted into the ocean. And it's likely that it may develop into a tropical cyclone to go and affect uh, our brethren in the... Uh, American uh, continent. Hmm. Are we to expect some more today? Uh, for today, it's going to be a bit stable for us. It's going to be cloudy. We just a few spread here and there. Then in the afternoon, the sun will come through, and then uh, we'll have uh, just some few cases over the middle and parts of the north, uh, not on a wide scale like yesterday. Uh, for Sunday, we are expecting it to be ISO to started, and most of it will be formed within the country, uh, especially those of us in the region, uh, part of Eastern Ashanti, Western North, and then along the coast. For the coastal strip, uh, those of us slightly north of the coastline is what we are anticipating. We are having 40 to 60 percent chance for rain. Uh, that's going to be on uh, Sunday to a Monday, but today went to be pretty cool. Mm. Uh, just a few rain all here and there, but nothing much to worry our heads about. The Ashanti region, western region, western north, we are still, we are still be having some rain, slight rain, and then later the sun will dry it up. Temperatures were expected between 31 and 33 along the coast, uh, 32, 35 for the middle sector, uh, 37, 39 for the northern sector, upper east, northeast, and then the upper west uh, is on our radar for this weekend. So they should watch out. We'll be updating uh, for them also. And then the state of the sea is expected to be rough. We are having patches of rain and thunder clouds. Uh, today, tomorrow, yes, fisher folks can do fishing activities, but they just have to be extra careful. The wind to be moderate. The tide will also be moderate. So they just have to be a bit careful. Water Lake this morning is cool. Uh, tomorrow too is cool. But in the afternoons where we are expecting the rain and thunder cloud formation, they should also be on the lookout. As usual, we'll be updating them on their respective platforms so they can prepare themselves. Uh, in a nutshell, the weekend is likely to look good from today through to tomorrow. Sunday evening is where we are anticipating some I saw to cases of rain and thunder. In a nutshell, thank you. In a nutshell, William, good morning.
Good morning. Yes. How are we? I'm greater than a cry in a nutshell. <laughs> so on and so, so on and so forth. I don't know what you have there. Eh? All um, right. I've got the Republic Press newspaper in front of me. <coughs> the uh, front page has this to say. NPP <coughs> Paris Gallam say blows as wound me calls from Pom Boating a hungry man. Oh. Also on the front page of the Republic Press, Dr. Baumia endorses Jospon Group and CompTech Rice Project Partnership. We've been talking about rice mm. um, for a while now, so this is added good news, if you ask me. Hopefully we can stop importing so much rice um, as well. School feeding caterers declare strike over unpaid arrears. Yesterday, if you joined us, we spoke extensively about what's happening in that regard. Ekufado drags Al Jazeera, demands apologies for false publication and lastly Bagwing squares up with UK MPs as he outrightly rejects LGBTQ mm. William in former this morning Green Ghana project Ghanaians say no to tree planting demand accountability first and pay us or face legal action seedlings providers threaten See, I'm so it's still in connection with the Ghana Green projects yeah. and the uh, red flag over possible rigging. There are strong indications of possible rigging of the NDC presidential primaries in favor of former President John Mahama, oh. which may or may not be known to him, according to the informer in insider sources. This, this development is attributable to Dr. Kamala Dufour's ability to walk the talk and wage the kind of sustained, effective campaign he has embarked on, which was hitherto unexpected by the Mahama camp. And Ghana priority, prioritizes rule of law. That's according to Speaker Bagwin, who was telling the British legislature. That's for the informer. And on the front page of the finder, mm -hmm. new law of mining in forest reserves to attract investors. According to engineer Ransford, Hans Ransford Sechi, Deputy Executive Director of Operations, EPA, a focus to face retrial, Asabiki Alandi to die by hanging. Ekufuado has never interfered in anti galamsey clamp down and has shown i'm flinching support that's according to lance minister mm. Ginapo. Mm. okay let's turn attention to page three of the um daily analyst it comes with a story of a school feeding challenges so tiko jabba former gender minister has made nine recommendations that government must wake up to the plight of caterers and address their misery and um, uh, improve their conditions of service the president should please authorize the ministry of finance to immediately increase the rate per child from 97 pesos to a decent wage worthy of hot nutritious meal one um propose uh, she proposes five ghana cities the caterers want three cities but she says well the reality is five ghana cities she says i pay all the areas including caterers who have been paid or underpaid or are not being paid settle payments for the hot meals provided during COVID-19 and all other underpayments immediately with agency the school feeding monitoring and payment system must be digitalized she wants government to listen pay caterers promptly like the way the other public servants and uh, you know timely payments are made timelessly she wants government to um, be gender responsive gender equal and gender equitable to reduce inequalities among caterers she wants government to plan ahead of the future to provide them with decent wages and both caterers and government must recognize that school feeding is a partnership when government pl plays its part uh, of the agreed then the caterers on the other side will also play their part and finally it says all actors involved in school feeding in particular the uh, officials of the national school feeding secretary the ministry of gender children and social protection ministry of finance mcs dc regional ministers ges head teachers teachers and pupils parents farmers and suppliers of food items must be fully committed to all work together effectively with leadership from the government to ensure that the ghana school feeding program achieves its objective to end poverty and hunger increase enrollment and so on and so forth this is what she thinks <laughs> what do you think did you see and so on and so forth in the no, no, etc etc et <laughs> so i'm adding it <laughs> are these the nine yes recommendations? The nine recommendations i mean i read through them um 
was it this morning mm. i'm very straightforward um it wasn't rocket science no 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 the, the crux of the matter was pay the pay them. Uh, pay them and let's move on really i don't know what else we can say we've dissected this from all angles mm. we've uh, taken a step back in time to look at some of the happenings that might have contributed to the issues today but mm. uh the crack said pay them pay them yeah pay them their money so it's, it's only fair yeah i mean i think the kid just mentioned Utiku. that when she was there yes. they didn't face and, these and challenges these recommendations are coming from her yes and she has been working with children and women mm. way way before way, she way back into yes. politics. she mm. understands the dynamics of children and their needs and i'm thinking that people who get some of these uh, political appointments should engage those who have gone through those offices before for guidance because mm. it is clear that when she left things changed yes. and the recommendations she's making if we adhere to them it means things are going to change for yeah. the better yeah. so it's, it's just a general advice that I'll, I'll give to political appointees and for all office holders mm. somebody comes and leaves you come you consult yeah. so that we get things right yeah. i mean it's not I, I, they I can't charge yes, commercial they rates they can't charge you i, I don't know, you know why we suddenly forget about people yeah, i yeah, mean yeah. this and this is happening within the same government mm. Mm, yeah. okay but in if you go to the ministry sometimes there's only a few who would contact their yeah. predecessors yeah, yeah, yeah. no matter where they belong to they will call them and say Charlie um this matter has come before me mm. what do you think what, yeah. what what can I do you know some mm. keep an open line but majority of them they take over and they tell you they're going to start all over again mm. it's just it uh, speaks to how um party politics has seeped into things so mm. deeply that you the need for collaboration sometimes is but is missing yeah, it's, it's, and and and, and you see that um i've mentioned this before oxfam uh stated that that uh, 2015 imf program that mm. we entered into they said it was one of the best in the world because yeah. they saw a lot of collaboration we know that mm. uh, the ndc sought to seek you know expert minds from the npp so that in this time where we've gone to the imf we had uh, former finance minister Seth Te mm. Seth Tekpe also speaking, offering some advice and also showing a willingness to collaborate, you know, if the opportunity arises. But I don't think the government sought his um, expert opinion, which is a, a waste because mm. he's a citizen yeah. of the land. He's mm. done this before. He's yeah. gone there before. And yeah. it would have been a great tool to utilize um, the expertise. But nobody wants to give credit where credit is due. I, I think that sometimes so, it, it stems from, uh, because I remember the Senchi, Mm. whole century conversation mm. um and aside mr pianim all the mpp people refused to attend that meeting i mean this was a meeting that was supposed to we were in difficult times mm. Mm -hmm. i mean not as harsh as what we have now right but even then a certain arm was being stretched out mm. you know i thought that mr pianim showed leadership and statemanship if mm. you ask me to do that we, we need to look at the um the boundary equidistance thing yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Marietta grew yeah, upon and, of justice and, and then um, um, yeah. so far Gloria Kufu did. I mean yeah. they work closely and we at the end of the day Ghana won. Yeah. So I don't know why people suddenly get into certain offices and then decide that well I am <laughs> and you see that ministry has been very successful mm. since that initiative. Yes, yes. I mean they've won a lot of cases for mm. Ghana. Mm. Your mm. brother is benefiting from the, the partnership yep. that all the yep. last three attorney yep. generals have had, you know. So it's something that, uh, the because no, it's clear now that no one party has the men. Mm. No, 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 it's no. clear. I, I mean, those who say they have the men, <laughs> we, they see they, the men. We, we are not seeing the men. So if you come talk to the, all the men, the men are not many, <laughs> and the women, <laughs> and the women, no, I mean, we'll the, 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 the men, the, the women to the inside. Mm, yeah. We'll use that, we'll use that as a collective. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll cut it short, we'll cut it short. Because mm. both parties have promised us 30 percent, yeah, mm. of appointments for women. Mm. How have they done? Mm. And and not to say that the women don't pull their weight, but if we make a strong case for you. Mm. But I've always had this notion that the gender ministry is not an extension of a women's fellowship <laughs> where the, the gender minister deputies must all be women. Men are also part of gender, yeah. the gender yeah. conversation. Yeah. Yeah. So it is not a women's fellowship extension. Mm. So we can make a man a gender minister, but the person must have in his mind that I am a gender minister. Mm. I am a social protection minister. Mm. The person must keep that in mind. So far, the way the ministry has conducted itself, right from Ajoa until this one, 
it gives me an indication that they still don't have that picture in their mind. Mm. And I'm saying this because 19 boys were sodomized in Kopi yeah. by their social studies teacher. I had to scream at the top of my lungs before the matter traveled through the gender ministry. As we speak now, the children have received no psychosocial support from the ministry. Mm. The monies that the children were supposed to pay, because if it's a crime and you say you have been sodomized, you have to go and pay to prove to the court yes. that the children had to take care of it. Mm. So one of the 19 couldn't afford it. So the number drilled down to 18. A crime has been committed, but the sector ministry was not interested. Nobody moved into the school. GES wrote one statement. That was it. So we, we need to start thinking, and I'm happy that Otiko Jabba has mentioned it, mm. that the ministers or whoever is put there must have in mind that this one, it's a gender matter. It is not boys versus girls kind of thing. Yeah. It's so, interesting that you talk about that. I recall when we uh, we were in the throes of the vetting of the uh, ministers, right. um, mm. a Greek minister mm. and so on and so forth. And we talked about the um, health ministry as well and whether or not the caliber of minister we have now is what we need yeah. for that sector. Mm. So I think it's also a good point to broaden the conversation. What types of people are we putting in what yeah. ministries? Do yeah. they have the emotional intelligence also for that. We mm. spoke about the um, Ashanti Regional Minister yeah. and how he addressed the school mm. feeding caterers. Mm. Mm. So actually, a lot has to go into the type of person mm. that takes office as well. Do, do you honestly think that a Dan Butri would have approached issues like the way Ash the Ashanti Minister, Regional Minister did? Mm. Different temperament. I know Biamwa. Mm. The, the, I mean, Anoko Boy. Um, uh, Esami Oku. Mm. Do you think that they would have they, they would have approached it many in a totally different way that even though they owe you you will still feel like okay let me break my back a bit yeah but well oh, wow. Kufado is demanding apology from Al Jazeera Van Fem inaccurate documentary um, we got a hint from Mr. Koy Suman who manages and um, told his social media pages and is also uh, an, a, a counsel to the president mm. the lawyer's lawyer. Uh, on Twitter, that you know, they were contacted by Al Jazeera. They they said that the claims that Al Jazeera had brought to them were false. They were not. In fact, they called it spurious, which is false or fake. Uh, that's been also repeated in the letter that was written by another lawyer who is the executive secretary to the president, Anasanti mm. Bedieto. What's for me is um, quite shocking is how the president is not taking legal action. He's not choosing the option of a legal action. Maybe it's pre preliminary. Oh, well, this matter has been the gold for um, the gold mafia smuggling of gold out of this country, $40 million worth of gold on a monthly basis. They didn't start yesterday. Mm. And if you look at when the letters were written, the, the correspondence that they have, and this latest one that had been written on the 25th of April, we can't say it's preliminary because mm. it's been on the desk of the president. For, for anybody to even start thinking that, okay, this matter just came up, we need to have in mind that this matter has been there for more than two years. Right. Why is the presidency now speaking? Are they speaking because Al Jazeera published what they did? Mm. Or are they speaking because many Ghanaians are now asking of them? Because we've seen how local media have been treated by the government. People who, um, for example, have made comments about the president's wife were picked up by BNI operatives in the dead mm. of the night. That's a purely civil matter. But we use state operatives to pick it up. Modern Ghana, Ajafo and his team, they were picked up BNI cells. No concrete evidence was found about them when they had that issue with the National Security Minister. Right. They were tortured and left. I can give you a plethora of examples. If you look at how the government has dealt with local media, and then you mirror it to how there's a certain softened stance, you know, oh, retract and apologize. Oh, it is fake. It is false. That's all. Yeah. I, I'm not... It, it, actually, well, actually I'm not thank you for painting it. that picture. When you juxtapose the two, it's a very different reaction yeah. So do to, we fre do, we, do we throw Obroni or what? Mm. Yeah, those are questions that <laughs> you and I cannot answer. Because, I mean, 
for for the international media and what they've done mm. well that's how he the president has decided to approach it but the, the what happens domestically we can talk about because the law for me is a bogus law that acts that you, you, you know the act to 208 and that, all uh, fake news because you see when they they, they they repealed the criminal library i don't know how this law sneaked they found it found its way in the, in our, on our book. so that's how, i mean so some of these things you can only look at it and then pass your comments and that's it because it's hitting his person mm -hmm. that's why he's even using his personal lawyer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm you know so he, he has asked them to apologize he mm. could have sued them directly but sometimes i mean that's why the point you make is very key because it's the media doing their work yes and in any media is doing their work they have some information they come to you for your reaction they put your reaction together with the information they put it out that's right you know what i mean so if you have any uh, rejoinder mm. you come with a rejoinder if national media commission calls you when you fail to put out the rejoinder mm. then it, it, it escalates that's right so in our domestic situation that's what we expect to happen yeah. but where the processes that act is still sitting there and the police can use it uh, mm. through the criminal corridor then we have issues i mm. think that's what the, yeah. the, the the issue is because we've repealed criminal libel law yes but this one i don't know how they found managed, its way in there and i've given you some clues <laughs> new <laughs> thing if you talk then they say oh you Criminal, they say they fake <laughs> law, fake, <laughs> fake for you, me, fake they, publication. No, no, no. We'll deal with no, you. No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> if 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 somebody feels offended or touched, mm. but of course the media should also be careful. Yes, because you can't do stuff like that and damage people's images, mm. especially when that affects the image of a whole country. Mm. But I'm I'm sure they came to the presidency. They gave yes, them yes. some questions to answer, yes. and they put those questions together with. That's that's what the, Al Jazeera said. In fact, yeah, Mr. Koy someone had. said that that yeah. they came to him because if you follow the tweets that he put out that they approached the presidency they made those claims and then the presidency says no your claims are not correct but it's and a media why they can't you like, they can't take them to court because Al Jazeera went through the they professional to process yes so how what you have put out is not what so it retracts yes then if you don't do then they will escalate okay so that's what we expect that if me sitting mm. here this morning mm. I speak and Mr. Dampari and his people don't like. <laughs> they, will, they will ask me to retract. No, and no, 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 no. You're not like retract. If there's CBNI in the yard, you, I will see them. You, I know them. You will not retract. <laughs> when we see them, we see no, them. No, when the BNI, we know them we because know they, them. they've been coming out too much. Yes. We, <laughs> when we're growing up, we we'll see them like that. Them. They, but these days, we see them too much. They didn't even used to introduce themselves. No, 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 no. These days, ah. you meet somebody in a watch and I work at National Oh, National Security. It's serious. And he's showing you his good uh, and uh, some side arm and when we're growing up you didn't see you them, see them. You, they could be around you you won't even get a whimp of an idea you'll be, you'll, be, you'll be living next door to somebody who to, know the man is a military intelligence military officer inter yes mm. until there's a coup yes. and they catch him yes you will never know but these days they go and buy watching with us and tell us uh, and tell us in the queue that we are national security, <laughs> national security. Uh, serve us first <laughs> they even give them uniform <laughs> <laughs> They wear bla <laughs> black and white suit and, and with, so on with, and so with forth. Bandana. And so on and so forth. <laughs> and balaclava. And so on and so forth. Anyway. Charlie, 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 Charlie. They have it's already been done. No, no, I mean they shouldn't do that. It's already been done. They shouldn't do that. It's, it's already been done. They shouldn't done. do that. Because it's, it's dangerous. It's been done. Where a political organization, mm. political party infiltrates the security service, mm. it's dangerous. They are all over the place. It's already I, been done. Well, that's the word out there. So if it's the, happening, they should stop the, it. Well, but to the to the end that there's actually a list that comes from the highest places to say these people put them in. And, and some MPs actually yes, come out. and say that, oh, I've been able to get 20 people into the, the police. The police. And I mean, they They'll 15 They'll talk about their protocol list. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then they yes, actually yeah. claim it as a political achievement yes. to say, oh, vote for me again. I can oh. get some more people in there. Yes, yes, they say it. And if that one, if they come for me, I can mention yes. him this when, morning. When we, when we know that the processes are supposed to be that, you buy your form, mm -hmm. you go through the processes, you go for medicals, you are certified, you start your training. Mm. Um, if you call, if you pass, then you're given the uniform, you're given a station, and that's, that's it. it. That's how it's been since 19. Could yeah. oh, oh. How we suddenly have protocol? Let some go through training less than three months and and all of that and you can see them all around yeah i mean that that corporal who disrespected the whole superintendent in public mm -hmm. when even when people were recording 
Back then, Copra, superintendent. You because lie. he knows what he's standing on. Yeah, he said, you didn't employ me. You didn't bring me here. Mm. If mm. you if you think that I'm on the wrong side of the route, come and meet me at headquarters. Yes. <laughs> he, the Copra, was telling the superintendent, come and meet me. You are telling Co- Copra. The From Copra, you go to sergeant. From sergeant, you go to inspector. From inspector, you go to chief inspector. From chief inspector, you go to ASP. From ASP, you go to DSP. From DSP, you come to superintendent. It takes four years for each rank. Now, Copra, 